hello guys today in this video we're gonna see how to make the um, ball animation flowing through a pipe okay then shift a add a plane then i'm gonna scale it up here okay so i want to temporarily hide the camera and the lights okay fine that's cool then i want to model the model our ball okay shift a then cube grab on z axis okay mm we have the modifiers in the modifiers we're gonna go to subdivide the cube okay subdivision surface crank it a bit up okay fine then we want to cast it into a um, we're gonna make it a little bit more okay make it a little bit more up. Hmm, okay fine um then we're gonna make it as cast using a cast modifier to make it as a perfect sphere okay mm, then we're gonna apply this okay then in the edit mode i wanna what i wanna do is select all the faces then i'm gonna go into the face select the poke faces okay then i'm gonna select tries to quads okay then i'm gonna select some random edge loops okay like this it was fine the random edge loops was looking awesome then i press e to extrude it up right click to cancel all test to scale this in fine okay it was look it looks cool then i'm gonna go to shade auto smooth then i want to add some subdivision surface to make the surface look smooth really really smooth fine um if you want you can add more subdivision but it doesn't look that much difference it was quite a bit nice okay so if you're gonna um okay then we're gonna model our pipe okay grab on y-axis we're gonna make this um a little bit more small okay so grab it on y-axis okay fine then we're gonna go add some curve the path okay so we're gonna model the pipe by using a curve it was an easy method so we're gonna start modeling the pipe okay grab it okay you can model however you want okay so i'm gonna model like this okay extrude 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 make it a little bit more extrude 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 okay fine you're gonna see i'm gonna press e and extruding that i'm gonna have to turn on my screen capture keys so you can see it better okay okay um so okay fine we have our curve then we want to add depth to the curve so we're gonna get to this point go to the geometry tab and go to the round add some four sorry four was a little bit high this is fine okay that's really really cool then i'm gonna grab on z axis fine then we want to grab our ball and make it a little bit closer to the pipe a little bit inside to the pipe ah it makes me work okay then I press one then I press seven okay fine so um okay it was um inside the um, cylinder it was inside the pipe then i'm gonna select this and i want to add some solidify modifier to make this as a thick sorry i gonna add some i have added subdivision surface okay um so we're gonna offset it then crank the thickness up then i want to convert it to the mesh okay then i'm gonna make sure um shade auto smooth and then i want to make the um, normals to be 60 
fine that's really really cool okay and then i want to make sure go to the face mode select some random faces always select random okay i'm gonna press and shift alt and select some random faces if you want a broader you can select both faces you can select the faces that was doesn't do that okay fine so okay some random face loops i'm gonna add it to the vertex groups okay assign okay and then we're gonna shift d i have assigned it for some security reasons okay then press a then press p then press my loose pad okay fine then i okay then i'm gonna select these edge loops here i want to join it all together so for the temporary reason i want to hide this cube here then i'm gonna select these all here okay this all here okay then press ctrl p then object then so uh, we don't want to parent it we simply wanted to join the objects so um we simply wanted to join the objects okay Let's press ctrl j to join the objects okay okay fine then okay we're gonna turn on this okay then we wanted to add the solidify modifier okay solidify offset okay it was fine it was really really cool i i'm gonna make it as low poly because it was um uh super expensive when it was modeled in high poly so i was modeling in low poly okay most of the users following this have made spec computers okay so i'm gonna make this working for all so so far so good i'm gonna make sure i'm gonna texture this before texture i want to add this vertex group to this new vertex group edit mode then assign this up here then i want to add some textures to that okay new texture okay fine red color ball okay and then new and then we're gonna new um add some white color for face mode then assign it up here fine our ball is ready and we want to add some glass material to this so we're gonna add some glass by just new okay clicking this then go to the glass okay fine it doesn't look right in the view in the AV mode we want to go to the cycles then press gpu where it is okay gpu okay fine if you have gpu you can enable it if you don't have it don't worry about that okay um we want to make the world stream thin strength to be uh, world color to be our hdri own hdris you can load up your hdri okay how it's small I'm gonna load my HDRI okay fine and then I want to make this glass a color a bit bluish so I can make the color a bit blue slightly blue mm, okay fine okay fine so I want to make this as a rubber piece so I can make this as black okay then uh, i'm gonna increase some decrease some roughness okay fine so the final thing is the is to add the simulation for that so i'm gonna so i'm gonna before that i want to add the backdrop so scale it on x-axis okay grab it on x-axis okay fine scale it on y okay then we're gonna add some edge okay then press e to extrude on the z axis then i'm gonna click this edge then press ctrl b to bevel okay 
I, I have forgot to apply my skill control A to apply the skill then press tab into edit mode edge mode control B to be well okay crank it a bit up here maybe control Z control B okay and then I'm gonna share a sort of okay okay view camera to view fine okay okay cool the final step is add them add our collisions add our animation okay i want hmm that was fine i'm gonna rotate my plane is it see on 90 degree so our ball looks hmm this plane okay. this was right this was really really cool okay so I'm gonna click this ball okay then this is a collision this is a big spot okay I'm going to that go add rigid body then you want to make it as mesh okay you're gonna make if okay then we're gonna go to the pipe then add the rigid body make it as passive otherwise it will be moved it will be also um, animated and fall down it also responds to the gravity so i can make it as um passive okay fine then we can um, hit space bar to play what happens yeah we want to do the in the mesh you the ball flew away so fly away because we want to make this as the shape as mesh okay so it will work why um okay passive mesh deform okay fine rigid body and then we want to add the ball we want to apply the scale of the ball and the apply the scale of the pipe control a apply to scale okay fine then i press play okay some errors are here uh, in the passive i want to make sure mesh okay oh fine our ball is going through the pipe going through going through fine our ball is coming out okay fine so we're gonna render it as an animation from press zero then i'm gonna go to this we're gonna make sure this okay then i press play you're gonna see our ball is nicely coming out of that one quick note guys um when you render you want to tweak some settings to make it look more cool um you're gonna see i'm gonna make this background as dark color you're gonna see this okay then i want to make sure um my, i want to enable in the composting in the composting section i want to add some denoise i'm going to show you how to add denoise mm, usually it looks like this sorry um okay um if you don't have don't see the notes you want to take the use notes then you then you will be able to see the notes then shift a then type for for denoise okay sorry shift a denoise okay then you're gonna drop this then gonna connect the image then gonna image to the image or you can simply do it by an another technique you can first you wanna you wanna join this then you're gonna drop the denoise both are perfectly fine you can do both of these techniques okay then you're gonna render it will be look awesome um but um after you render your render will might look like this it looks pretty fine but it doesn't look like a um, cool animation i will show you how to color grade it in davinci resolve in a separate video after this video you're gonna see that video and make your video look like this okay